Good morning from Jaffa Port in Tel Aviv. As many of you will know, I was held in the airport for six hours. But finally, I'm here and I'm looking forward to exploring this place. Look at this. Looks absolutely glorious down there at the beach. So the plan today is I'm going to go to a place called Karmala Market, which is about 10 minutes from here. I'm just going to get going right now. I don't know exactly where it is, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to find it, but yes, this place is looking absolutely glorious. Let's check it out. And we're out on the streets. Let me tell you, it is roasting. But I'm not going to complain about the weather this time, because I've just come back from Scotland. Scotland's a little bit cold. So yes, we're now on the streets. I've been told the market's down this way to the left. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully, hopefully we can find it. So I got here late last night and I'm staying at a little, a little capsule hotel. I was held in the airport for six hours for security reasons. I understand why. Um, it was just obviously a bit of a pain having to go through everything about my previous travel destinations. But we're here now, I'm in, let's do this. So as I was saying guys, the plan was to come here and visit Jerusalem, Bethlehem and the West Bank, but I'm here for a day until I sort out how to get there. There's a train station about 30 minutes from here, which I'm going to look at today. Hopefully it's not too difficult, I think it's about one hour, one hour from here. I think I can see the market or the entrance to the market. Only about two minutes and I am roasting. Hello sir. Hello. Not sure what I'm going to buy here, I'm just walking about. I've not had breakfast yet. I've not actually got any shekels on me. I've got US dollars, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll take that. I'm seeing some some kanefe here, like I see in Turkey. I'm back lava. Hello, sir. Not sure if it's just a fruit market or not. Although I'm seeing shawarmas over there, so that could be a shout. I know I say it all the time, but I'm sweating already. Nobody's broke sweat yet. So last night I was speaking to some Americans, an Austrian, someone from Denmark as well, are all staying at the hotel, which I'm going to do a video on. So I booked a hotel last night because I didn't get out of the airport until late. It's a little capsule pod hotel. Pretty expensive, it was uh, 50, 50 pounds for one night for the wee, the wee capsule. Prices here are the most expensive I've experienced traveling so far. I think it's a busy little place, lots of music going on, so hopefully, hopefully it doesn't affect my videos. They look absolutely superb. Again, I'm not sure, I'm not sure where I'm going, but I think this is maybe, I was going to say this is the closed bit, but there's more fruit here. So I think it's just a mixture, a mixture of everything really. Cool little place. I think you what, this looks as if it goes on for miles.
And is there ever a market without some fake sneakers? So yes, tomorrow, tomorrow hopefully I can go to Jerusalem. That's the reason I'm here, Jerusalem, Bethlehem and the West Bank. I actually think I see a, a Celtic shirt in there. I'm not sure if that is. I don't know, I could be wrong, it looks like, it looks like a Celtic shirt. In fact, you know what? That fruit juice looks pretty good right now. So I got myself a little mango, pomegranate and orange juice but the guy says no filming which I was pretty surprised about So I got this for 30 shekels, I'm not even sure how much that is I'll put it on the screen and I'll check it out but I know things aren't too cheap here So that's something I'm unsure about, I'm unsure how they are here with the camera I didn't really think much about it um, but the first person I went to, he's told me no filming, so hopefully, hopefully that's not the way it's going to be here. Uh, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So your man is feeling hungry. I can see a shawarma place over there. And if I'm not mistaken, it says falafel. So I'm going to go and check it out. I'll put the camera down just now and I'll see how they react first. And then I'll get the camera back out. So bear with me one second, guys. So I went into that place across the road, they didn't want me filming either, so I just walked around the corner and there's a nice little falafel place here. So I've just ordered myself my first falafel here. I'm looking forward to it. The last falafel I had was... I, think I, didn't, I don't think I had one in Pakistan, I think the last one I had was in Lebanon, I believe. Syria, whatever one was first. So yes, I'm looking forward to it. Your man is hungry. I only had a wee sandwich last night. To be fair, the airport, when they held me, did feed and water me. They gave me two sandwiches. Sorry, sir. And some water, so it wasn't all bad. Just to give you an idea of some of the prices here. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, no thank you, no thank you. Uh, no thank you, no onion. Uh, yes please sir. Tell you what, this is looking nice. I'm looking forward to this. The man is, I was going to say starving, that's not the right word. I'm very hungry, very hungry indeed. And it is here, look at this, nice falafel with some hummus. Looking forward to trying this. Let's get straight to it. A little bit of hummus in there, guys. And some falafel. Yes, reminds me of Lebanon. Mm. Very nice. And we are out of there. I feel like I've got falafel stuck in my teeth. There's music everywhere, so hopefully, hopefully it doesn't cause any problems for me. So that was 30 shekels which comes to eight pounds, I believe. Roughly eight pounds for the falafel. Not the cheapest, but there we go. I am just about to head to Sarona to meet a Scottish guy who lives here. He's been here for 11 years. 
It's part of the Tel Aviv Rangers Supporters Club. I can hear the Celtic fans now moaning at me. So I'm just going to go ahead, meet him, get some coffee, and we'll see what he's saying to it. So let's go. And we are here guys, so we're going to get some coffee and apparently some of the best chocolate you can get here in Tel Aviv. But I've just met up with your man. Hi everyone, I'm Andy. Strange hearing a Scottish accent here, that's for sure. So how long have you lived here? I've lived here 11 years now, uh, so yeah, since 2011. Compared to Glasgow, how is it? Well, well I don't want to upset people back home in, in Scotland, but uh, I mean this is my home now. It's, it's tremendous. Look at the sunshine mate, Look, yeah. sunshine, great food. Yep. Lovely culture, can't beat it, mate. And one thing I did notice here is the streets are absolutely spotless. More than what I can say for Glasgow at the minute with the strikes going on, but yes, nice place. I'm going to speak to Andy and I'll see you in a minute. We've just with the doctor order, we've got a nut shaker, which is an iced coffee with what nuts is in it? Pecans. Pecans. Whip cream. And whipped cream. Oh, that's superb. <laughs> that is superb. You'll be flying. Yes, very, very good. So do you know do you know any more Scottish people that live here or are you just there? No, there, there is a community, there's a, a few hundred Scottish people here. I'm in touch with maybe about 20, 25. Oh really? My, my brother lives here. Mm -hmm. He lives actually not too far from here in Tel Aviv. Uh, my wife's also Scottish, we came together and I there's people up and down the country. I can even tell you my uncle moved here in the sixties and he was originally like a, a kibbutznik. Yeah. Which is someone that goes to a kibbutz and sets up all these uh, agriculture and farming and growing of seeds for plants, stuff that you could then sell to, to other places in the country. So, yeah. yeah. So, so what made you decide to move here? Just decided it felt, felt right? Yeah, I mean, I'm from a very small community in Scotland, Jewish community, and uh, always felt a strong attachment to Israel. Uh, and the sun. Yeah. What I love in the sun, good, good food. Attractive woman, to mm -hmm. wife. Um, it's just a great way of life. You know, you got the beach, you got lovely places to go and visit. Um, yeah. um, aye, and to be honest, it's been so long. Yeah. That I've kind of forgotten all the reasons why, but yeah. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. So there we go. A few hundred Scottish people here. Any Celtic fans for the people watching? I know one. One Celtic fan. Yeah, I know one. I played golf with them a few times, but that's all I'm going to say. I try to avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel the Celtic fans screaming at me. So yes, a few hundred Scottish people here. So there is a, a small Scottish community there, which I didn't know about. So there we go. And we are out of there. So that was absolutely fantastic. So we're just going to head to the town of Jaffa. But check this out. This is the tallest building in Tel Aviv. Apparently, I'm taking this man's word for it, so I'm not too sure. It's, it's the, we call it a squiggly building because it's kind of shaped. Yeah. Like, but yeah, no, it is the tallest, but that won't that won't be the tallest for long because as you can see around there's construction absolutely everywhere, mate. Yeah, I was uh, saying so that I earlier. There's lots of construction. Yep. So this is Sarona Market. How long has this been open? A few years now. It struggled at the beginning, but as you can see now, it's quite vibrant. And, uh, quite lively. So, like, Caribbean and Hawaiian food. You've got. Uh, Fromageries, bakeries, you've got burger bars. Yeah. It's not the cheapest, but very tasty food in here. Yeah. So there we go. Yes, this is Sarona Market. Pretty, pretty loud in here. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear me. I smell all the food. It smells absolutely amazing in here. It smells fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it's a very, very nice place. Very chilled. This shop and fish restaurant, that's the sort of this is the part of it where they serve fish and chips and mushy peas if that's your thing, if you want to <laughs> take a bit of home. It seems it seems pretty busy today, so we're having a little chat there and he was saying uh, Friday tomorrow, so he said the Sabbath uh, starts tomorrow. Starts afternoon. tomorrow at two o'clock. He said. Yeah, it starts later, but the transport shuts off around about two. So yeah. So all the transport shuts here at two o'clock tomorrow. Um, so I'll not be going anywhere after after two o'clock. So I'm going to try and get a few places in today, but just a whistle stop tour there. Pretty nice spot. 
we're just in the car now guys and we're heading to Jaffa well I'm heading to Jaffa and your man's going to drop me off thankfully the motor's just pulled up in front of us but Maccabee Haifa Maccabee Tel Aviv Maccabee Tel Aviv yeah, right. sorry yeah, oh that's like making a big mistake here um, it's just through there I think we might pass it uh, we are yeah we'll pass it um, the stadium is called Bloomfield and uh, Bloomfield. renovated two, two seasons ago now it's 30,000, very modern, beautiful stadium. Right, okay, sounds good. So yes, as I was saying, Jaffa is 40% um, Arab, 20% Christian, and 40% Jewish. So, should be an interesting spot, uh, diverse. Looking forward to checking it out, and I'll see you when we get there, guys. I'm out of the car, so I've just left Andy there. What a nice guy. Good to hear a Scottish accent. I didn't realise there were so many Scottish people lived here. I don't know where I'm going, I'm now in Jaffa, I'm just having a little look, but I've seen this mosque, it looks absolutely stunning. I wish I'd wore long trousers. Maybe come back and hopefully hopefully enter. There's lots of little little off shots here, so I'm not quite sure where I'm going yet. But we'll take a wee look about and um, we'll check out and see what Jaffa has to offer. So Jaffa Great Mosque. Not sure where the entry is, but I'm wearing shorts, guys, so I'm not going to chance it. Uh, hopefully, I can come back and we can go inside and have a little look at it. I'm sure it'll be lovely. I've noticed a little juice place over here, and I am absolutely gasping for a drink. Is there you open, yeah? Cool little spot. One Fanta procured. I was always wondering, so abroad you always see this little cap on top of the, the cans. You don't get that in the UK, I don't know why that is. If anybody knows, you can leave a comment. So I'm just sitting across from Jaffa Grand Mosque, as you can see. So Jaffa Great Mosque. Tell you what, there's a little breeze coming and it's well needed, let's say that. But I'm thinking there's a viewpoint up here, hopefully, that we can see the beach. First impressions of Jaffa looks nice, really nice. Very clean, the streets here are very, very clean. I've not seen much litter about at all. <laughs> I'll see you when I get to the top of this hill. And there it is. Look at that, that looks glorious. I could be doing my jump in there right now. Absolutely beautiful here. This part of the world. That water looks so refreshing right now. So my hotel's about two about two miles. Two miles that way. So I think we're gonna head that way and walk along the beachfront. Seen a little sign over here though. Just want to see what it says. So there's also a flea market back down that hill. I think I'll check out that flea market tonight once I get changed and stuff. I don't know what time it's open till, so I'll check that. But for now, I think I'm going to, I think this is the way, head down here and walk along the beachfront. I don't know if you can get down this way. Tell you what, that breeze probably isn't good for the camera, but it's certainly good for me, that's for sure. I don't know if you can get access this way, I'm hoping you can. And I'm down, look at that. Everybody chilling out, that water looks absolutely tremendous. I'm going to go for a swim tomorrow, that's the plan. Friday after 2 o'clock, everything shuts here, the transport. The transport stops as well, so tomorrow afternoon will be a chill day. Yes, got about two miles, two miles to go, and I'll be back at the hotel.
Hello, sir. Yeah. Nice place, absolutely beautiful. So I've been trying to film for the past five minutes, but it's just too windy down here. The wind is good for me and terrible for the camera. But such a lovely beach here. It reminds me of Antalya in Turkey, if I'm honest with you. Especially down this part of the beach, you're seeing uh, girls with the hijab, girls just with bikinis, um, a mixture of everything. So, yeah, pretty chilled out spot. And just like that, we're back in the hotel. So that was a pretty good day. Not bad for the first day. But the view here is absolutely incredible. So you can see Jaffa just over there. And that's where we've just walked, right up the beach. Pretty windy over there. I wanted to do more filming over there, but it was, it was pretty windy. Going to go back to Jaffa tonight, I think. And I don't know if the market's opened, but hopefully grab some food. So stay tuned for the video and then we'll sort out Jerusalem and the West Bank and I'll see you tomorrow.